हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू फार्मा कैम इन साइट टूडे वीडियो इज अबाउट टाइट्रेशन इन दिस वीडियो यू विल गेट ऑल पॉसिबल क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर्स विच विल हेल्प यू इन योर इंटरव्यू प्रिपेरेशन सो स्टे ट्यून टिल द एंड लेट स्टार्ट फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन वॉट इज ए टाइट्रेशन टाइट्रेशन इज ए लेबोरेटरी टेक्निक यूज टू डिटरमाइन द कंसेंट्रेशन ऑफ एन अनोन सोल्यूशन बाई रिएक्टिंग इट विद ए सोल्यूशन ऑफ नोन कंसेंट्रेशन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वॉट इज ए टाइट्रंट ए टाइट्रंट इज ए सोल्यूशन ऑफ नोन कंसेंट्रेशन यूज इन टाइट्रेशन टू डिटरमाइन द कंसेंट्रेशन ऑफ एन अनोन सोल्यूशन you can see in the diagram the solution of known concentration is filled in the burette which is called titrant next question what is an analyte so answer is an analyte is the substance whose concentration is being determined in a titration you can see in the diagram the solution in the flux whose concentration need to be determined is an analyte next question what is an equivalence point so answer is the equivalence point is the point in a titration where the amount of titrant added is stoichiometrically equivalent to the amount of analyte present in the sample next question what is an end point in titration so answer is the end point is the point in a titration where an indicator changes color signifying that the equivalence point has been reached or is very close next question what is a primary standard a primary standard is highly pure stable and non hygroscopic substance used to prepare a titrant solution of accurately known concentration next question what is a secondary standard a secondary standard is a solution whose concentration is determined by titrating against a primary standard next question what role does an indicator play in a titration so answer is an indicator is a substance that changes color at or near the equivalence point helping to visually determine the end point of the titration next question what is a burette used for in titration a burette is a calibrated glass tube with a tap at one end used to deliver the titrant precisely and measure its volume accurately during titration next question what is a standard solution a standard solution is a solution of known concentration used in titration next question what is a back titration so answer is back titration involves adding an known excess of a standard reagent to the analyte and then titrating the unreacted excess reagent with another reagent next question what is the difference between a strong acid strong base titration and a weak acid strong base titration so answer is in a strong acid strong base titration the equivalence point occurs at ph7 example of strong acid and strong base titration is hcl versus noh where strong acid is hcl and strong base is noh while in a weak acid strong base titration the equivalence point occurs at a ph greater than 7 example of weak acid strong base titration is acetic acid versus noh where weak acid is acetic acid and strong base is noh next question what is a titration curve a titration curve is a graph of the ph of the solution being titrated against the volume of titrant added you can see the diagram of a typical titration curve for your reference why is it important to choose the correct indicator for a titration 
the correct indicator must be chosen based on the ph range over which the equivalence point occurs to ensure an accurate endpoint determination next question what is the purpose of a buffer solution in titration a buffer solution resists changes in ph and is used to maintain a stable ph environment during titration next question what are the different types of titration following are the different types of titration first is acid based titration second is redox titration third is complexometric titration fourth is precipitation titration give an example of precipitation titration example of precipitation titration is nacl versus silver nitrate in which silver chloride is precipitated next question what is a redox titration redox titration involves a reduction oxidation reaction between the titrant and the analyte often using an indicator that changes color when the redox reaction is complete next question what is a complexometric titration so answer is complexometric titration is used to determine metal ions in solution by forming a complex between the metal ion and a titrant usually edta that is ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid full form of edta next question why it is important to remove air bubbles from the burette before starting a titration so answer is air bubbles can cause errors in volume measurements leading to inaccurate titration results next question what precautions should be taken to ensure accurate titration results following precautions should be taken the first is use clean and calibrated equipment second is remove air bubbles from the burette third is choosing an appropriate indicator fourth is performing the titration slowly and carefully to avoid overshooting the end point thank you i hope you like this video so please like share and subscribe my videos and also show your support in the comment section if you want to see more videos on interview question and answers on different instruments you can refer my playlist where i have covered the topics of interview question and answers on different instruments bye